So hello everyone and welcome here, welcome to my gamers uh, review episode 4. I found another really good episode, it was really funny, I love seeing Tendra's life. And it was really great, it's officially, unfortunately, it's kind of obvious, but yeah, like, first we see her, and like, oh, I'm super serious, like, we have every morning, have six and exercises, get home, do some extra homework before I go to school, at school, I'm friends with everyone, I have the teachers, and then of course, it's like, yeah, and the, the boys give her love that they're because she's like the perfect student, best grades, best looking, like, the A, top A in everything, right? 10 out of 10 girl in, in everything, right? Academic, sports, and so on. So she gets super much love, this, and it's like, turn down, everyone's like, yeah, life is perfect. After that, I go and play in the club, we have the secret leader of this all hardcore game club, you're all awesome. Then I go home, do extra homework, and I play some games, and homework and games, and like, my life is perfect. And then after she falls in love with the monocle, it's like, no, I want to go up the morning, I, I dreamt about him again. <laughs> of course, it's like, kind of barely trains anymore, it's like, oh, I don't want to do it this day. Forgets to do her homework, eats like one second, <laughs> so all right. Um, the, the, the part, probably the best part though, I think was the teacher part. It was funny too when she's like turning down another guy, and early she was like, nah, whatever, whatever, yeah. And, and I was just like, I have someone I like, really? It's like, I mean, that's a bit funny. But I did say I like the teacher part more when she was carrying the chemistry stuff again there. Then she's like, I have to go through three F's <laughs> classroom first. It's like, why? why? The, the, the classroom is over there. It's like, I have to. And then we see her go, and as soon as it gets to uh, the classroom, right? then she turns around. Because he's like, don't direct her. It's like, yeah, I know, I know. It's like, you turn here. <laughs> so I'm doing you turn at the place. And of course, Armando appears behind her. It's like, what are you doing, Tendo? It's like, Aah! and the opposite drops everything. Right? So that was a good part. Um, and we see, of course, going to watch the games and so on. But it does feel a little bit, a little disappointing, though, because. Like, there used to be more about games, I feel, and that, that really could have been about anything, right? Perfect girl, you know, best in everything, and then she's, like, too in love with someone to focus. She could have, be, have a hobby as an artist or something, and be like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna draw, go to her artist club, and, and they are like, you you all I do is, like, some kind of abstract art of, of man now, what happened? She's like, ah, you know, like, it could happen to anyone, listen to creativity theory, like, their, their mindset, right? So that that is a little... Um, it's disappointing, I feel it's too much of a game in itself. But then anyway, they get the second part, and they go to a game arcade, right? And yet again, the it's more about like uh, relationships. So definitely, the anime is pretty funny. It's a lot about relationship drama, and it's hilarious. But I do feel that it could have been about anything really, right? So, but the second part was better, though. Uh, they do the arcade. And that part was more about gaming and mentality again. Which is like, oh, so you want to play luck-based games. Uh, that's a good point, because you know I'm better than you! I said I was gonna get into that game, I was like, game on! And he's like, I, I, I just wanna hang out on our date? <laughs> and he's like, no, 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 we're gonna play, I'm gonna crush you! And that was great too, because after she crushes him, and then I actually really liked, because after she crushes him, right, she's like, oh, so you want nothing? You want nothing, I'm not good? He's like, hey, sorry, I lost every coin! And he's like, oh god, why do I feel disappointed? Why do I feel dissatisfied? Because obviously, this is very related, but if you play with someone, and if you're better than them and so on, but that one, it doesn't matter if you're better than someone, but if, if you're vastly, vastly stronger than them, right, whatever you're doing, vastly more skilled, there's no real value of winning, right? It's like, ah, whatever. And, and, and so that was annoying. He's like, hey, yeah, you won. That was fun. And he's like, no, it wasn't. It was too easy. They didn't give me a challenge, like, because there's no challenge to beating him. And it's frustrating to see him being happy, being like, yeah, lost, yeah, yeah, whatever, next time, I, I, maybe I win. He's like, no, you won't, you suck! <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's frustrating, right? So that was great. And that comes back to the game for there, so that was good as well. Uh, and obviously her, like, fantasizing about um, him kissing, um, uh, what's her name again? I would say Mormosan, but yeah, whatever her name is. He's, it's a hard name to pronounce, Hinnem, yeah, something like that. Um, that was good as well. And over, overall, like, her, over, say, it's fun and so on. But... Uh, well, I, one thing though that confused me, which I hoped they were going to do, and that was really confusing, both yes and no, at first I felt it was really good, when he was like, of course I want to win, because I felt that she was kind of sitting there, which is not like bad accusation, like you see he has this kind of super hardcore mentality, right, she thinks that he's like a complete loser that just wants to play games to like really uh, pass time, submission kind of gameplay, doesn't really care about whatever happens. Um, but it's like, of course I care, like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to try, I don't have the tenacity to like exercise and really improve, but of course I still want to win, and that, that, that's a good, that's a great point there for him, and he was like, what are you stupid, of course I want to win, like I, 
I don't like try to win, but I don't. I mean, he tries to win during the round, right? During that game, but after that game, he wants to go exercise at the home and like exercise the combo. Like he's gonna play that game and try to win. Um, and in her mind, she probably wasn't thinking about that. So there's a great point actually from in both the, like the whole anime, like a philosophy thing, but also you, she's like. What? You actually try to win? Like, yeah, trying to win, but obviously I'm not really like, like, um, trying more than this specific <laughs> minis right now, yeah. So that makes complete sense to me, and I like the part. However, though, in the end there, that was a little confusing, I didn't like that. Because then the, the, that, to me, was kind of like, uncritical of him. He was like, oh no, I actually do want to be good at this thing and so on, but I don't have the tenacity more than that. That, that I felt a little off there, because, yeah, then it got a little confusing there, and she was like, but the first scene, they had like two scenes. The first scene, she was kind of like, Oh, you actually want to play games with me? And then he was just happy, falling more in love with him. And that was all great and so on. And she realized that, oh yeah, of course he actually tries to win. He's doing his best while we are playing a shorter, but he doesn't want to do more than that, right? He just want to go the extra mile afterward and talk about it. So that was great. So then after that, they talked about it more. I was like, yeah, okay. The beginning was like, yeah, yeah, okay. It makes sense still. But then suddenly it's like, but also, I do want to try this and this. So like, and that was really confusing to me. That was not confusing, but it was just kind of un uncritic. And I kind of went against what you said earlier. It was like, but now you're saying that you actually do want to do it. Because he said kind of like, oh, I want to be good at these games, but I don't want to spend the time in it, blah, blah. But earlier it was more like, oh, you know, uh, of course I want to try to win games, but I do prefer playing like pseudo player uh, role playing games. That's why I don't really, like, I care why we're doing it, but I don't care afterwards. Afterwards, I'd rather go and play these games. But then it was suddenly more like, no, I actually want to play these competitive games, but I don't have like, the willpower to try and like beat you after you defeat me. That's completely different. That's completely different than uh, the other order statement. Much more like, I, I try my best, and I do want to win, and yeah, like if you play more games, I try my best again, and I'm trying thinking about what's happening and trying to learn and so on. But afterwards, I want to go home and practice. It's like, oh, after I go home and I play these other like narrative games and so on, because um, I want that more. But he was more like, I don't, just, I don't just have the willpower. So that was weird to me. I didn't like it at all. I was much better if he said, like, and I do think that the author still intends it to be, as I talked about in, like, my first review of this, with, like, you know, talking about different kind of gamers, different kind of pers personas, when you look at different game design aspects of game aspects. That makes more, more sense to me. So he still would be, like, a guy that's, like, he, he still wants to win. He actually might have some, you know, uh, spirit in him like that. Yeah, but both when he gets home, he's, he still rarely plays single player games or massive multiplayer online games more like MMORPGs because that's the genre he likes he likes role play games he likes he likes the horror game so that's the genre he likes that would make more sense that was the general thing and then he's like well yeah you know, you know yeah because now you sound like he was like oh yeah i, I want to be good at like fighting games but then i get home and uh, then i don't want to like exercise so i just play role playing games because whatever yeah, that that was weird. That that was weird. It didn't make any sense what he said like five minutes earlier. So I didn't like it at all. And that, that just kind of uh, you know made his character be, be kind of split there. Maybe it's a translation. But I don't think so. I think it actually was just kind of weirdly stated there. And I only the two things that the author just kind of wrote it badly. Like it was that 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 mean that it didn't make any sense. Like it's completely against everything I said earlier. Even in the same conversation, right? Like the beginning conversation. It was it made complete sense, and then the last minute, it's like what this is completely defunct. Story. But yeah, like what this is a counter. So that it confused me a lot there. I didn't like it at all. But at the end, the sense of it was pretty funny though. I mean, obviously she has to understand that he's doing his best. His best is really low, right? <laughs> That's kind of. And of course, he gets her a drink and so on. She's like, ah, he bought me a drink and like yeah, like give him a winning drink. So obviously, he's falling more in love with him. So yeah, I mean, generally it was a good episode. But that thing. That thing really bothered me. I was, I see this making sense. Yeah, that was weird. It surely was. But anyway, generally a good episode. But I want, I wanted to be more games. That point though, before this one was good. Uh, but then it just got confusing. So anyway, see you guys next week and have a great day.